Welcome to Two Karateka and a Bottle of Whiskey, the Okinawa edition. I'm here with uh, Jyrki, Jyrki Innanen again, and um, we did uh, uh, the previous season, the first season, two years ago? Yeah, I think so. Two years ago, and it was so much fun, we decided then, right then, we have to do it again. Well, now I've been waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, the the first season, uh, I highly recommend you do that before you watch this. Uh, in that way, you get to know the both of us a little bit better, and it will probably be easier to follow along with our discussion. Actually, we haven't discussed the content at just all. like last time. Yeah, pretty improvising, pretty much some words here and there that we, we make sure that we go through, but otherwise it's going to be improvised. Yeah, I have also a paper here. And do you know what it says first? Whiskey first. Sounds like a good idea. Um, like I mentioned, uh, this is the Okinawa edition. Uh, and um, I in October, there was the Korichinadi uh, World Gashuku with Hans Patrick McCarthy in in Okinawa. It was the first time for me going to Okinawa and um, I was actually sitting uh, at Tokyo airport after after being in Okinawa and suddenly it struck me, shit, I should have bought a bottle of Okinawa whiskey just for this this very uh, happening we have here. And um, uh, because I tasted uh, um, Okinawa whiskey when I was, th was there and uh, I actually liked it. It was It was really good. Did you taste it at 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. or 9 a.m.? Quite, quite late, so I'm not 100% sure about this now. But anyway, I was sitting with uh, Vesa, who was leaving uh, on the same flight as me, uh, Tokyo Airport. No Okinawa whiskeys there. Uh, but our friend Ari, uh, Ari Nuten, was still on Okinawa. So I called him and uh, he promised to bring me a bottle. So he brought this one from Okinawa to Finland for us to taste now. So this is going to be interesting. Don't you love the sound of that? Yeah. It's obviously the form of the bottle forced me to pour a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I, I think you I just, just wanted to show the hierarchy here that <laughs> bigger boss gets more. We can do this too. No, 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 it, it's fine. <laughs> Hey, okay. good to be back. Cheers. Sweeter. Sweeter yeah, than it's, I remember. It's, it's a little bit sweet, but it, it's good. It's good. Good starting whiskey, I think so. Yeah. Hey, but, but if you remember, if, we think, if you think about the last season, what's in your mind that the first thing uh, or thought that, that is coming to your mind? Uh, importance of basics, I think. Yeah. And we talked also about shuhari, which kind of... Yeah, I I I, I, I think uh, th those those two also I think that those two topics were the main things that that uh, importance of basics. So to select the right basics and then to to really practice them in in, in, a, in a good manner. And then sh shuhari principle. I've been think I, I think it was kind of a starting point for me to think more of, of shuhari principle. And, and then I have had more more thoughts related to that. And I I think it's it's actually really really excellent principle it, it applies to many areas in your life that first you practice something and and you just do what you are taught to do then you start to do application and, and put them together and then actually you leave the form so no matter are you doing karate or any art or anything or music you could actually do the same that you have to first follow the certain rules then you can start mixing them and then you just produce music or produce art or and this is martial art for us, so. Yeah, and well, sidetrack already, but with uh, emphasis on art, for me, I feel it's more of an art form than yeah. something martial that we use for fighting for real. So. Yeah, and I, I think what you said about the importance of basics, uh, I think when, when we have now done, or you have done some modifications to, uh, to details of, of uh, uh, Finnish version of, of Kori Utsinari Karate. I, I think you have actually highlighted the, the importance of, yeah. of basics there and kind of put them, put the basics on first. Yeah, still because it's, there's so much to learn. Yeah. Even if we're talking only about empty-handed martial arts, 
uh, and we want to have like a broad perspective mm. so nothing will feel like it's completely new if you have trained for many years uh, so actually for the curriculum we highlighted the most important techniques so it will be easy for the practitioner and also for the instructors to see what should we spend most time on yeah okay. yeah yeah it, and they go hand in hand so in, in shuhari the shoe face is is, uh, is basically the basics but if you select the wrong basics then you have the wrong wrong whole base mm. there and then you end up in in in, in trouble later on. on on the other hand if you try to run too quickly to to apply the techniques or even do the free form techniques if you have weak base if you have weak base or wrong base then uh, you end up in trouble at the at the later phases so uh, i think I don't know. Was it our con- conversation then? But it, it seems that we both have been kind of going even more on on that way. Yeah, yeah, I think so. On our journey. Yeah. Yeah, I could say a few words about uh, trip to Okinawa. Uh, I uh, went to Japan in 1997 for a one month trip with my uh, former sensei. I uh, was well training, competing, and. Uh, that trip actually concluded one chapter of my martial arts career, if you want to call it that. Uh, I've been doing uh, a Japanese style, Renshin Kan Shorin Juru, which has lots of influence from the Okinawa styles, very close to Seibukan Karate, but still Japanese version. And uh, going to Japan back in 1997, it, it was really a, a great trip. I got to see um, lots of different places and train with uh, many many masters, but uh, somehow after that trip, I felt it's time to move on. Uh, It wasn't what I was looking for anymore. And luckily I found Hanshi McCarthy and uh, uh, got hooked on Kori Chinadi. So haven't been to Japan since. Then uh, when I heard about Hanshi McCarthy arranging this World Gashuku, I was like, yes, I really want to make it there. Uh, One big reason, of course, was that we had the COVID and for two years, uh, not not much traveling and many friends I normally see on a regular basis uh, I didn't get to see so going to Okinawa that was like a, well a dream trip at the same time I was a little bit afraid because COVID uh, now I can admit it it affected my motivation for training because it was restrictions uh, at some time we weren't allowed to do any th- any two person trails and that affected actually we did those secretly but <laughs> let's not tell anyone <laughs> yeah small groups just sticking to the same training partner i yeah. guess it was okay but for me I, I, I can admit it affected my motivation and uh, i someone smarter than me once said that uh, people don't move move away from things they move towards things and during uh, the covid years i moved towards the board sports i got really hooked on uh, stand-up paddling, which I think we talked about last time already. Yeah, you but, started that on our summer cottage, by the way. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, snowboarding I've been doing almost as long as karate, but uh, I really got to do lots of snowboarding during the pandemic and also started doing power surfing and snow skating, which is kind of snowboarding but without bindings. And I spent a lot of time doing that. So I haven't felt that involved like I used to with karate. Uh, but then again, on the positive side, um, I'm not that obsessed. I can see it, it's become easy for me to understand like a regular practitioners mm. before I was so in the martial arts box and uh, everything yeah. was about the martial arts. Uh, so going to Okinawa was uh, like a two-edged sword for me. I was like, yeah, I really want to go there. But at the same time, I was afraid, will this trip kind of end one chapter? Will I feel that now I seen it all so to speak mm, yeah exaggeration of course mm. but luckily no it wasn't like that going there seeing the places even if i'm not a historian i'm not that into the history of uh, karate and martial arts it was really interesting to see the places and kind of surrealistic yeah. feeling I, 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 I was jealous jealous to you or, or is the jealous right yeah. or is anybody but anyway yeah and it was uh, good mo- motivation after that uh but then winter came and uh, I've been out snowboarding a lot, actually, yeah. Yeah. more than martial arts. But yeah. Well, fine. it's yin, yin and yang, it, it's balanced, so you, you need to have balancing. 
balancing parts in, in your life. 